Virginia. Welcome back to King's Decor Corner. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit the notification bell to receive alerts as to when I upload new videos. For my faithful family members, thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. Now, before we get started with this video, let me first say Happy New Year, yay! Happy 2021 to everyone. We are welcoming in the new year by cleaning up our space. So in today's video, I'm participating in a Hop Around the House collaboration hosted by Nicole North Garden. Hi, Nicole. Thank you so much for hosting this hop. Now, guys, the way the hop works is you'll watch my video. When you're all done, go down to the description box below and click on the next video link. Then you'll hop over to their video, watch their video. When you're done with that one, go to their description box, click on the link and hop over to the next video. And you'll hop along so that you've gone through the entire list of everyone who's participating. And you'll get lots of ideas and inspiration on how to clean and decorate your space after Christmas. Also, I'll have a link to Nicole's channel in my description box as well, so you can go check her out. She is amazing. Alrighty guys, so for this video, I've decided to focus on my entryway. I'm standing here in the entryway now. I've taken out my Christmas decor and I've decided to decorate for winter. So it is cold here. You guys know we don't usually get a whole lot of cold weather, but as you can see, I'm wearing a sweater turtleneck because it is in the 30s right now so that's really super cold for us so we got the heater on blast so yeah so anyway i'm still feeling kind of festive so i decided to decorate for winter so if you guys are interested in seeing what i've done then just keep watching okay guys so here is my entryway space and how it was all decorated for christmas if you guys didn't see my Christmas home tour video of this space, I will link it in the description box down below for you to check it out. But I wanted to just show you guys in this video what everything looked like before and before I start taking down all of the Christmas decor. Um, this year I did do a whimsical theme in the entryway and it was very fun and festive and we had a lot of fun with it, but it is time for it to come down. So here I've taken off the majority of the ornaments and all of the ribbon from the tree. So the only thing left here are the ornament garlands that I showed you guys. And I'm just showing you around to see all of the other items that I have taken away as well. All of the ornaments that were on the table. Now all of the Christmas decor is completely gone and we have just the transitional items left and of course the christmas tree so i'm just panning around here for you guys to see the entire space and i think i'm going to leave the tree up so we talked about a winter theme so this tree is absolutely gorgeous and i'm going to use it um or leave it up here so we can use it for our winter decor So now that we have all of the Christmas decor items cleared out, we have a little bit of a mess left behind. There's glitter uh, everywhere and there's little bits of snow um, as well. So we need to clean everything up before we do anything else. So I'm starting here by vacuuming our staircase. Um, you know, like I said, glitter and everything gets everywhere after Christmas, so I like to just go ahead and give everything a good vacuum down, and I also will go through and sweep the staircase as well and go along the edge. 
um, which you guys may not see me do that in this video, but trust me, it will be done so that all of the dust and glitter and um, everything is cleared away before we move on to decorate. So here I'm just using my favorite furniture polish to wipe off the edging on the staircase and I'm also going to use the same furniture polish to polish the entryway table here. So we're just going to get everything cleaned off and have it all very nice and neat. And here I'm just taking a moment to vacuum all the glitter from the chair. You guys know I always have this chair in the entryway for my guests if they need to remove their shoes. So we're just gonna vacuum that off and then we will continue on. Now the entryway is completely cleared of all Christmas decor and remnants of Christmas other than that Christmas tree. Everything is neat and in order. I did also remove the lanterns from the staircase landing um, that were also Christmassy. And so now we just have a blank slate to add in our winter decor. And here is how our entryway came together. And guys, I have to say, I really love it. It's giving me all of the winter vibes. I just feel like I'm visiting a place that's covered in beautiful snow. I really am happy with how everything came together. And actually, this is making me think about using this as a theme for next year's Christmas. <laughs> Leave me a comment down below to let me know what you guys think about a white out Christmas as a decor theme for next year. I'm loving it. So anyway, here are some of the items. I'm basically using items that I already had in my home um, to create this winter look. I pulled a few items from other areas of my home just so we can add more of the white decor pieces and then a few of the pieces I did purchase earlier in the Christmas season that I didn't use so I thought they would be perfect to use right now so as we're looking back at the coat rack I did not do a whole lot there I kept it fairly simple by just doing the hello sign with a um, milk glass vase with some greenery and our initial R there and I decided to just basically hang the R right from the coat rack as opposed to um, creating a bow and things like that I wanted to keep it kind of rustic and just really simple and in my large white vase I did use those white flowers you guys have seen me use those before in the past they are absolutely gorgeous. I picked those up from Burlington's uh, last year and I love them. And I decided to post this finial on top of a candlestick to give it a little height. And I think that rounds out that corner. And over here at the base of the Christmas tree, I decided to use this church house that you guys did see me purchase um, at the beginning of the Christmas season this year. And I didn't use them, and I'm so glad that I had a chance to use them now. They're like frosted in snow. And so one is a church, the other one is um, a birdhouse. And I did add in my little doggy that was there from, I purchased that one from Pier 1 a few years back. Then at the base of the table, I filled a basket with a fur blanket and a snowflake pillow. And the pillow, of course, has a little touch of bling on it, so we need to have a little sparkle. 
And I have the other finial and my candle there at the base to round out that look. And on top, I did grab this church house from another space in my room, in my home, to add here to kind of coordinate with the wooden church house that we have under the tree. And of course, I have a winter mix of florals there and my large white ginger jar. And I decided to use the uh, fur pillow and the chair to coordinate with the fur blanket under the table there. And that rounds out our entryway winter look. And I'm, again, I'm really, really happy. Of course, the star of this um, entryway is that beautiful flocked Christmas tree. And I just, I'm really happy with how everything came together. I think it looks very, very pretty. So leave me comments down below to let me know what you think about my entryway space. And also, do you decorate for winter? I think this is the first time I've decorated for winter. I usually go straight into uh, Valentine's, but I usually don't take down my winter decor so soon or my Christmas decor so soon. I usually leave it up <laughs> uh, longer than most people and then I take it down and then it's time right before it's time for Valentine's Day <laughs> to be quite honest with you guys. So I was excited to do a winter theme in the entryway this year. And I will do something for Valentine's Day as we move closer to that time of the season. Alrighty guys, so again, leave me comments down below to let me know what you think about my space. And give me a thumbs up if you like this space. If you're into the neutral decor, then um, leave me a comment below and let me know that as well. You guys know how much I love color, but I think it is pleasing to the eye sometimes to have a neutral palette. And with that, I think this is a great way to welcome our guests. Okay guys, so I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. If so, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. That helps me out tremendously. You guys don't even know how much that truly does help. Also, what helps is to leave a comment. So leave a comment down below to let me know what you think about my winter decor. Also, let me know, do you decorate for winter after Christmas or do you go straight into Valentine's Day? For me, I decided to do winter this year, like I mentioned before, because it's still cold outside. And so I was still feeling all the winter vibes, but I will be doing something really light this year for Valentine's Day. And I'll talk about that later in an upcoming video because I'm gonna do things a little bit different this year. For Valentine's Day so you want to make sure your notification bells are on because you don't want to miss any videos that I upload and again if you're new here welcome thank you so so much for stopping by make sure that you hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any videos for my faithful family members <laughs> you all know I love you love you love you so 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 very much a quick reminder to be sure to go to my description box and click the link to the next video so you can hop on over to the next video and let me say a huge thank you so much to nicole for hosting this hop and i look forward to seeing all of you on the next video much love and many blessings bye bye